See, like I said, you know, like he's cool and trained right away. But that's not what we're training right now. Because basically, like I said, this, the, the person, if he wanted to kill you, he would have just killed you mm -hmm. without even letting you know. Alright, this guy's just standing in line at the grocery store. Alright, let me get his walk. So the guy, there's a lot of involved with pulling his trigger. I mean, does he really want to go to jail for the rest of his life? Does he really want to deal with all that? You know, so he's just pulling out as a threat, you understand? Like some people, the gun might not even work. The gun might be fake. The gun doesn't, he doesn't want to kill you, he just wants your wallet. But if you're just pulling out like this, I mean, that's just something that it's, it's, it's hard to survive because you don't got a gun. Even if you do have a gun, you got a gun. So I pull the trigger first. Mm -hmm. The reality is that it's not like guaranteed to survive just because you know this technique. But this is for somebody, they're just not reacting quick enough. You just react faster and you end up winning the reaction. Because mm -hmm. he, he got too close to you and he, he wasn't intending to shoot. And then you just basically disarm him. That's, that's, that's the, the practicality aspect of it. Like that the, the mentality is not, even somebody that's not a criminal, but if this person is threatening you, you still don't want to pull the trigger because of all the crap that you got to deal with. Mm -hmm. You'd rather not kill them. You know what I'm saying? And that, that part of like, making you not want to kill them already, if he lunges at the gun, it already puts you at a disadvantage. Because a mass murderer is not even going to give you the opportunity. He's just going to shoot you. But this is the situation. Disarm, but he has to act quick because he's too slow. You know what I'm saying? He needs to go quicker. Like, the guy's coming at you with a gun. This is a disarm technique. He's got to do it quicker. Can you do it quicker? That's better. Okay? You see that? Alright, you see how quick... You need to, you need to do it quick. You know, I mean, yeah, of course, that takes longer than pulling a trigger, of course. But I'm saying that when people pull the gun at you, and it, it's not automatically that they're just going to kill you immediately. Because it's just a different, like, it's, there's a lot involved with killing somebody. Even the criminal, they, do they really want to be in jail getting raped their whole freaking life over a freaking wallet? A lot of times this is used as an intimidation well, factor. there's a force? No, no, no. Don't even deal with that. No. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah don't even deal with that. No, this is, I'm just talking about reality-based training right here. I'm not saying that anybody that pulls a gun on you that this is going to work every single time. But the person, if he's ready to shoot, he's going to... I'll do it even better. Don't go like this. Go like this. Like, don't go like this. If you really want to kill somebody, you go like this. That's the smart thing to do. And there's really nothing you could do about that. You understand? Yeah. You, 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 there's really nothing. Once he draw, if a killer wants to kill you like this, the only thing you can do is just run. Okay. Even if you have a gun yourself, he's got the he's drawn already. All he has to do is pull the trigger. That's all he has to do. Okay? But you know, when it comes to guns, it's just just because you don't have fear doesn't mean that you're going to live the situation. But I'm trying to teach you not to have fear because I'm trying to teach you that it will increase your chance of survival if you don't have that fear. Like, so you got to disarm. I'm in range. You got to disarm. He's not even doing it. He's got to be fast. It's too slow. That's why we keep doing this over and over again so you get a quick response. You caught me off guard. Right? You can't. You can't. There you go. You see that? He's having a quick response. You know what I'm saying? All it takes is just yeah. All it takes is just a little distraction. Like, hey, give me, give me what? What did you say, man? He's too slow. Cause he probably has something. <laughs> you know what he's saying? Like, he's like, what? he's like, 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 he's I always think that when I have my coffee. Like, yeah, yeah, know. yeah, yeah. He could do that, and then he has to have the proper response right after that. The they shooting. They'll just be like, what throw the coffee. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Throw the I, coffee. I get, you I, know, you I, gotta I, go right for it. I mean, I get, you know I guess I get, I get what you're saying in the sense that if he does that, he's probably got something he's gonna say to you. 
Yeah, he's intending to save you. He's not expecting you to explode like this. Exactly. But at the same time, like, if we don't expect, like, if I really didn't think he was going to shoot me, I wouldn't even, i just give my wallet. I would just, like, tussle with him because. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Then if you feel that way, then run. You give your wallet and then run. Or, give, or, or just give your wallet, throw the wallet, and then disarm. But as soon as you say, oh, you know, I, he's not going to shoot me, just give me a wallet, man. You're, you're already, like, you're already at a disadvantage because you're just a stationary target. Right, so that, that's, I mean, that's like, for me, that's why I was pulling the trigger, because I'm like, anytime I see that, that's serious to me. I'm thinking that you shouldn't have done that, because you're really trying to kill him. Wait, wait, you talking about the, the why trail. you're pulling the trigger? Yeah, because tri yeah, I, yeah. Like, like, if, like if I were him, I'm, trying, I'm thinking like, like if, if, if you did that, I'm, as soon as I see the gun, why did you show that to me? If you weren't going to kill me. I know that people don't always act that way, but... Well, that's what he's saying. Either get it or get out. If you think show the gun, just show it. Instead of just standing there. Just like you said, yes. If you see the gun, then run. Get it? Like, get okay, out. okay, the, the gun... No, I'm not, I'm not the, saying The gun is out. Is You see the gun. Start running. No, I'm not, I'm not, I guess what I'm, I'm not saying is right. It's like... Are you trying to describe a, a situation where you can chill there? No. That he's not trying to kill you? No. That's, but that's what I want to understand. It's like you're saying, like, don't pull the trigger right now because that's not... You're just saying, like, if he really wanted to kill me, he would do something like this mm -hmm. or he could just kill me. But I'm saying just the simple fact that he did that, I'm thinking he's going to kill me. So okay. that's... Am I saying that right? Because you feel like because he pulled out the gun or showed the gun, right. he has the potential to kill you. Right. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that you can't train against a, a, a mass murderer like that. Right. Other than just smart decisions. Like, police officers will sit on the, on the other side looking at the door. The, then that's what I'm here to do. I just kill it. Now, I just kill it. What are you going to do? Are you going to run or are you going to disarm me? That's the only two options. You just stay there. Right. You understand? Right. Like the gun is out. I just killed her. She's dead. She's on the ground. What are you going to do? Right. You got to get trained to either run or you disarm me. Right. Those are the only two options. It's not just stand there and freaking, right. oh my God. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's typically how it's going to go. If there's somebody that's just crazy, you, there's nothing you can do to stop them. Mm -hmm. the, the, the first person that he shoots at, hopefully he misses. Right? But... Once he gets the gun out, there's nothing you can, I don't care how trained you are, I, I'm, I'm, I'm determined to kill you. There's nothing that I can do to show you to stop that. Because these guns shoot so fast that I'm determined to kill you, you're done. But this guy, we're, the only thing that I can train you right now is people that lack the response. Like... He's not like determined to kill. He wants something else. That's why he's asking, he's talking to you with his gun out. A, a, a crazy person, like completely, like the, the person that's killing you for your wallet is not as crazy as the person that's just killing you just to kill you for fun, like it's a video game. Mm -hmm. I can't, I can't mm -hmm. train you for that. Like the crazy psychotic people out there, they don't even know you, but they just want to kill you. I can't train, I can't train you to stop that. But the people that are stupid, that want something. You give me your shoes, man. Take your shoes. Let me, let me get your pants too. Let me get your wallet. Let me get this. Then you could do something because they're just doing a lot of stupid things. They're holding the gun like this. You're you know basically what I'm exposing them. Man. It's like someone trying to do something stupid. In yeah, the exactly. You know. I get this that. Arm. So, so I, am I, at this point, what I'm saying is, if I'm assuming that you just want my shoes, then you could give me your shoes. But then what I'm saying is give me shoes and then run. Okay. Don't just give me your shoes and then wait. Okay, okay, for him to take more. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this going to this arm is a risk. But you just see in this simulated experience, you don't win every time. And that's why we're doing the training. But if you do this day in and day out, you have so much confidence that you know that you can disarm him. But, if, but it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a risk. But standing there like this is a risk too. It's more of a risk. You know what I'm saying? I was, I think so I was you just jumping ahead. You just run. Like you can't look okay, what do you what do you want to do? Alright, here's my wallet. And then you start running. Yeah. Don't don't because when you run, you're putting him, you're forcing him. Damn, should I kill him? 
Like, does he really want to kill you? He has already got the wallet. Does he really want to kill you just because you ran? So if you want a more defensive approach, then run. But if you want more of an attacking approach, then just go all It's either all in. You either run or you go for it. You run and go. Don't just stay there okay. and just be like, all right, you know, uh, we're, we're, we're struggling. Oh, you got to get a little, little tough there. Okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <All right. laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, go for it and you win. Like, that's what we're training for. This is the first day that we did. Of course, you're not going to be perfect. Yeah, but I'm telling you, you do this day in, day out. I'm telling you, it's not that freaking hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, you just kind of just get used to this response, right? And you're, you're fighting. I mean, I train my ass off for this. This moment right here is what I train my whole freaking life for. He's not going to freaking win. All right. Head body, all that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's no, there's no freaking, there's no whole bar at that moment. I train my whole life to, to win that. So it's like, the first day that you try to power this, you couldn't even do it one time. You know, say a year later, you could do it like a hundred times. It's like something that you're so used to. Somebody says, hey, you do a power system for your life. <laughs> That's no problem, man. Boom. Same thing with somebody trying to choke you, man. It's like some guy's trying to choke, choke him. That he doesn't have any training. Yeah, I might choke him to death. But this right. dude is trained. Yeah. He could try to choke me, but yeah. it's not going to work. Because yeah. I'm trained. You're messing with the wrong dude here. So this guy decided... To, um, to basically rob a, a police officer or, or rob um, a martial arts. Like you said, this happened, this real happened. You point the gun, give me the wallet. All right, let me get my wallet, man. Don't shoot, dude. Don't, be, don't shoot. Here's the wallet, dude. Pop! That's what really happened. You understand? Because the police officer's trained to respond, and he killed the dude. So you don't need to be a police officer to do it. You got the gun, you can kill him. The guy said, all right, give me a wallet. All right, give me a wallet. All right, dude, don't shoot, dude. Here's my wallet, dude. Boom. You understand? Yeah. So for me, I don't want to, if I pull my gun out, I don't want to kill him. So I'm a smart guy, but I, if a smart guy shouldn't be a criminal. But say I'm a smart guy, I mean, I'm a smart guy. I pull my gun out. I'm just gonna draw away. There's nothing you can do about no, it. No, no, I'm feeling you because it could it could also happen when you're with your kids, something like that. You know, yeah, you're not gonna go hero from family too sometimes. Is that what you're saying? No, what I'm saying is I would attack because oh, I can't run. I can only run my son. You know what I'm saying? But but then he's gonna be left a sitting target. So you might have to at times. That's why attack. we gotta we gotta we gotta train. Because the running thing is not that hard to train, okay? That's why we do all this fitness training. You can run, you can run, you can run. But this reaction thing is a totally different thing. you got to get used to it and get a feel of it. It's not guaranteed to make you survive, but th these are the, the two approaches that I highly recommend. You run, or if you got the guts, you got the training, then go for it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> So, so you either give him the wallet and just be like, bad for your life, because that's what you see on TV. That's what everybody's training you to do. Just give him what he wants. If he wants your, your wallet, give it to him. You're just putting the, all the power out to him. You're not having any decisions here. Mm -hmm. But you do have decisions. You get this arm or you run. When you run, even if you don't give him the wallet, damn, the dude just shot off running, and then now it makes that big scene. And then there's more people looking, and then and then now he has to shoot a moving target. A lot of people they don't train to shoot moving targets. I think I think what I was saying, and I um, maybe I was just jumping ahead, is like I was saying like I was pulling the trigger. Yeah. Because I'm assuming that's what would happen. So I wanted to see if I could get out of the way. But I understand what you're saying is right now we're just working on phase one. Yeah. And the pulling tomorrow. the trigger is more advanced, yeah. way more advanced. So I'm not saying that my, my aptitude was to run. I'm just saying I was just doing the whole thing, but I understand that's not what we're doing today. Yeah, I asked for the, to hear the pop just in case. Like, because, you know, if somebody sees somebody coming, they panic. Yeah. They may, you know. Exactly, that's another thing. They may panic and pull the trigger. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying, I just want to see if I was acting quick enough or, you know, doing the right motion in order to I won't get shot and they're panic. 
Yeah. You see what I'm saying? There's a lot of things involved. We're gonna train all that, but that's more of the higher level. Okay. It's like you know, like the sparring. You know, we start off a little bit slow. Okay. So basically, um, the person has a gun, and they train you. Um, they train you. Smart people are trained to have their finger off the trigger mm -hmm. at all times. Mm -hmm. You know, that's and even this little movement takes time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because they don't want you to have a startled response, mm -hmm. right? So that's how the the the, the, um, the smart people train. But I'm saying that you know you don't know. Like I don't want you to have like predictions and this person will do this, he won't do that. But I'm just trying to train you to have more intelligent responses. Okay. okay? Just more intelligent responses that gives you a higher chance of surviving. Fear is not going to help. That's one thing that I want to instill in your mind. And another thing is just just letting him gain. With the gun, have more distance on you, it, and just staying at a stationary target will not help you. Okay? So if I come in here and I start blasting away, everybody here with their hands up is not going to help you. You're just begging for your life. Take, he, he already, his life is already gone. Take advantage of what he was able to. Basically, his sacrifice. His, time. his yeah, that time. Your proper response. His sacrifice could have saved all of your lives if you ran right to that door or you disarmed him. Right. Like I might kill him, and then all you start bum rushing me. Sacrifice number one. Sacrifice number two. Disarmed. But none of you guys do nothing. Then hey, you know, boom, 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 boom. Now we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dead people in the room. The cops come in and take the report, seven dead people. But if somebody comes in here, one dead person, all you guys bum rush me, disarm. One dead person, the people did the proper response. Yeah. So it's like, police, say you guys all had guns, you're police officers. I come shoot you, and you guys don't draw your guns. It's kind of something stupid like that. Hmm. You understand? Draw your gun as soon, not only, not as soon as you see the pop, but as soon as you see somebody coming in there, mm -hmm. that, what the hell is the dude looks like he's got armed. As soon as you even see the gun, draw your gun. As soon as you come, your gun should have already been drawn. The gun's already drawn already. You should have fired before he even fired. Mm -hmm. Okay? But you, you weren't, weren't paying attention. You guys were like jumping around, playing cards. And then what the hell? Dude, what's that? And then you got to get your gun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you got to, you, you, like it's just basically like the time. But if you don't. If you, if you train your mind to be in fear, and you train your mind to give them control, then that's not, you're not surviving, you're not having a good survival method, okay? So that's pretty much what, what it boils down to. Alright, so just, just learn that, and you're going to keep training the stuff, it's just like the response, if people got too close, alright. Just like the, the sparring, you get too close, boom, get that pop in the face, boom, 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 you got too, boom, boom. So they, 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 they got too close. So don't let get somebody with a gun get too close. All right? And when they have the gun and they're threatening you with it, you could either go right to it and fight for it or and that's go. And, and that's a lot of times that's what I guess criminals are doing is they're getting close because they're trying not to let other people see too, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. it's like police officers would be like this, you know, for, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, a police officer is not even supposed to <laughs> right, be doing that. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so, so, so just like the criminals, like that's all I can do is just like train you for people that do stupid things, aware of the stupid things, and take, exploit the opportunity. Just like when you spar, when people do stupid things, I, I teach you to exploit that. But once they get trained and they know what to do, they don't do stupid things anymore, then you really, it's going to be really hard. You know, same thing with the guns. All right, they they know what to do. See, okay. well, do you think it would be smart? Okay, let's say government artifacts. Um, I take a, take a possession of the gun, so now I'm in the possession of the gun. But the dude is huge, and I know that he's pissed now because I took his gun. Would you recommend to just to shoot him? Or something just to immobilize him because he's gonna go after me. I'm no, just shoot him, just shoot him in the center match. Just shoot him. Not in the foot, but just shoot him in the center. Because that's the, the that's the, honestly, that, that's, it's been bothering me 
I was thinking about it. That, so what that I'm going to get in a, I'm still a woman and he's going to still look at me as, as a woman and he's going to still want to, you know, he's going to be pissed now because like, so the chick took my gun, he's going to be very pissed. So I if he's that big, it's going to be really difficult to get his gun in the first place. I know, but, but an element of surprise saved my ass many times. Like, nobody expects certain reactions from women and for, from... Yeah, I think if there's a struggle for a gun, in my opinion, if there's a struggle for a gun, it's for life. That struggle's for that's life. For if life. I have it,